we are live. It, it's oh. your boy, Illuminati Hot Chip Manual, Leader of AJ Connections. Um, I just finished telling Konar, I don't know if it went live, but our our first commission Twitch emote, which took forever for me to actually commission, um, should be going through the approval process. I actually meant to check if it was approved before we started or not. I, I, I put it in this morning, but I don't know. But yeah, Konar, as always, I'm Manuel, Leader of AJ Connections. This is Ultra Podcast Z, the podcast that Manuel can sleep through every so often. Kanar, what did you yourself? Hello. That's it? Hello. Yeah, I'm sleepy. I just came from a workout, so... Yeah, for those who don't know, I mean, for those who, for those who, who are watching on YouTube, perhaps, you might not even notice, we're, we're an hour late. Um, now, I won't go into the whole specifics about why, we'll just, actually, it's not even specifics. Um... My dumb ass decided to take like a decided not even really nap. I was like, you have an hour before the pod before you have to start getting ready for the podcast. I'm gonna go lay down for a minute. And then suddenly I wake up and it's seven o'clock. And uh, ignore me. Well mind you, when I woke up, it all hit me like this literally the second I sat up, it all hit me like a ton of bricks. Because I kinda remembered I'm like, wait, wait, I had a thing today. And I look at my my phone, which is thankfully surprisingly just right next to me while I was sleeping. Uh, which isn't always the case. For once. Yeah. And I saw all these messages. And Kanara was uh, <laughs> uh, rightfully upset that I had I had, I had ditched. And, uh, yeah. And, like, mind you, like, the million of thoughts that flew through my brain. I'm like, do I can't? Like, the, to be honest, the big reason I didn't want to cancel is no one's here. Like, at my house, like, everyone left. Even though we're fucking in a pandemic. Don't get me started. But everyone left. And, um... I was like, I'm home alone. There's no one for the internet. Like, that's kind of why I fell asleep for as long as I did, because it was like no one here. Um, so I'm like, fuck it. I'll just we'll, we'll just do this. And uh, yeah, we we have a we have sort of a, a topic tonight. It's episode 101. Sort of. Yeah. Um, we, we were gonna talk Oro Tamita Jaiwu Jaiwu, which is also the Chinese version of Oro Tamita. We got remix that's chilling in the, the empty third box. Um, it was such a struggle for me. I wish I kind of just focused on today, but we realized partway through planning for this weekend's Drink Talk Learn that it was July 4th. Um, and it was such a struggle for me to find people for that that I kind of like let this one slide and we, never, we didn't get a host for it. But that's a good way to start the, the, the next 100 episodes by uh, by misscheduling a host and by oversleeping. Right, Kanaro? I guess. The, the, I think that's very indicative of the show. I'm sleepy. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not sleepy, obviously, but I, my, my mind is full of sleep because I literally just woke up about 15 minutes ago. Um, let's see. Let's oh, my God. Me. Can I say something real quick? Go I'm ahead. sorry. I saw, the, I saw this on Facebook right now. Bar Lives Matter protest descends on Texas Capitol to oppose closures. Can you fucking believe my fucking state? Is saying Bar Lives Matter. Oh my god, well... That is the cringiest thing ever. Well, to me, I'm not... Obviously, that's stupid. But I will say this. Every state that opened bars are fucked up big time. And this isn't even political. Now, for those who don't know, when you close down a business, they probably, like, you know, had to throw away food. They had to, uh, you know, furlough their employees, obviously. They, They might have, like you know, let the bar kind of obviously get dirty because um, nobody was there for, like, months. TLDR, by opening it up, most of these businesses, and they probably shut off water, shut off power, like, not shut off, but, like, you know, delayed some shit like that. TLDR, by opening these businesses up, they, they probably spent, the businesses, I mean, they probably spent a decent amount of money to get them back up and running. And they've been open for, what, like, a couple weeks? And now they're closing that. Well, I think Texas has been about a month now, but they've been open for you know, for only a bit, and now they're closing them again. So, obviously, bar, well, bar that's lives. That's what that's what that's what my state fucking gets for yeah. opening too early. Um, fuck Greg Abbott. I don't even care about that fucking bastard anymore. And they're already starting to rewrite they're history. Not to get too political, they're already starting to rewrite history, where like everyone's all like, masks make good sense. Like you know, like people who would never wear masks before. Um, cause somehow masks are a political issue, but now like, you know, Mike Pence is wearing a mask with, with Governor Abbott and so on. And any day now, Trump's going to be like, I was always for wearing masks, you know, but, um, 
anyway let's not get into like the bullshit that's gonna go on that's gonna happen any day now just just, just waiting for it um yeah any day now suddenly you know and then now all the Karens will be like oh yeah we'll wear masks we won't throw tantrums anymore because they're like their dear leader told them to um cause you know yeah anyway hate this world if anyone's watching live oh, we, should, we have a couple viewers um apologize chat is open go ahead and throw your chat in there now Gennaro, you you don't watch the drink talk learns right? Well, I mean, why would you? Mm, uh, I tune in every oh, now really? and then, but I just I just like kind of lurk. I don't. Talk, oh shit! Don't you never say anything. Yeah. Well, anyways, just, I know. Yeah, I just, well, like I said, I just I just kind of like lurk. To be honest, that kind of makes background. sense because there, there's a couple times when we have a lot of viewers, and I'm like, I feel like we just well, not even I feel like we definitely just have a lot of lurkers, um, because it'll be the same like three or four people talking, but we'll have like you know. Uh, Every so often, when I keep looking at the numbers, we usually have around eight to ten. That's kind of our norm. Like every so often, it'll drop really low, but we have around eight to ten. And I'm like, oh, we have people watching, and it's like, you know, let's watch what we say. Now, if you're waiting for the drink talk learn, because usually I upload them like by the next day, um, the last one had some technical difficulties. Some of which weren't my fault. I thought it was my internet being stupid. It was one all of the- your fault. No. no, no. Um, Yes, some, no, some of them were Zoom because I was watching some of the Twitch VODs. Why are you using Zoom, first of all? Because Zoom is the only program that lets you share your screen and still have your camera out. But, you can use Discord if you use your share screen option on OBS. Connor, not everyone else. I, I could do that, but not everyone else can. Um, not, and also Zoom, honestly, like it's even easier than Discord. It's like super like it's meant for like old people who don't know how to work the internet. Um, but there's a lot of things wrong with Zoom that yikes. So, no, actually, there's a lot. Like it has, just, it has horrible video quality. Like when you share video quality, not like your video quality. Not just the quality. It's just like the inner workings are very yikes. Um, but anyways, Zoom was actually. Uh, it's funny because I didn't really notice until I was because TLDR. I I lost about. 30 minutes of my presentation because it was long by the way i lost about 30 minutes of my presentation and i had to get it for twitch vod which it, the edit it, the edit looks okay i kind of fixed it up a little bit it looked prettier and i even like inserted new videos like the actual video into it so it looks better than it even would have broadcast anyway but um my point to bring this up is when i was watching the twitch vod's back there was two of the cuts that i thought were the internet that were actually zoom because i'm still streaming and you hear me going like wait what the fuck happened and then you see my desktop you can still hear me and you hear me cl- clacking away and i didn't realize that i was still alive i didn't say anything <laughs> you know but um but yeah i deleted them all because it was just messy and ugly to look at and, like, and one of them got muted because warren played music um uh, for his presentation but speaking of music that's the other thing that happened it did get uh we did make an edit for youtube because i had to fix all those things we lost about 20 minutes to the ether because of all the nonsense and then we had an entire conversation about uh china the ccp and hong kong that we, we had intentionally but we we only did it because nobody was watching us at the time and they were like we're going to cut this off for youtube when we cut it out for youtube um so that part's cut out for and it's it doesn't exist anywhere forever so if you ever want to catch fun things live you could go you could watch us live but that version of it um got copyright claims and i'm waiting for the disputes to uh to go through because i I decided to dispute it but my presentation this week for those that didn't watch was on jaiwu which is uh um which i I don't i was actually gonna bring up the whole presentation and like regale konara with it do you know what jaiwu is Shai Yeah. No. Well, um, for those that don't know, Wu is like W-U, uh, I believe it's the, the fourth tone, but uh, Wu, uh, by the way, it's not fourth tone, that's second tone, but Wu is the, um, is the Chinese word for dance. I believe it's the same character for dance in, in, in uh, actually it's similar, but it's not the same. I, 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 yeah, I'm going to look this up. I can picture the Japanese word, for, uh, character for dance. It is not the same. Um, but, um, Wu is dance, and Jai is house. Now, you might be like, house dance? But the the house is the same house you use in the word otaku. It's like, you know, the, the same, you know, in Chinese it's Jai. Yeah. So TLDR, Jai Wu means otaku dance. Um, and that's what you call, like, the Chinese orotibita scene. Um, 
And for those who don't know, Oro Tomita is like dance covers. So, anyways, my presentation was on Chinese was on Chinese Oro Tomita, and it was a very good uh, production uh, production, very good presentation. Um, not to toot my own horn, but I basically wrote um, a convention worthy panel. Took out most of the videos. Actually, I took out all the videos. Only had videos at the end, and then did that. And it took like a long time to present, especially drinking. But um, um, I basically wrote a, a convention panel. I, I'm gonna edit it some more, give it an actual good first uh, first run, and hopefully ALA will do it. If, if if the Rona subsides, if not, then hopefully Fanime, and if not, hopefully keep going. You know. But anyway, let's talk about this. But before yes, we talk about present. Something, yeah. the, Let's um. Let's let's talk about Orotomita. Let's not beat around the bush. Okay. Let's get right into it. Now let's talk about actually. Let's do this good old fashioned way. Sorry. Or to be the how we got into it. Now, obviously, Kanari and I are going to have two completely different uh, takes. Well, not completely, but two pretty disparate takes here because, for those who don't know, I can't dance. <laughs> uh, yeah, that might be a shocker, but I can't dance. Um, I have danced. I think everyone has danced at some point in their life, but, um, but um, I can't dance. I've definitely never recorded myself dancing purposely ever in my life. But Kanaru, I think Oh uh, huh, I should have pulled up my, my old videos. I know, like then. like it's um when I met Konaru, um you were uh you were performing at Pida's live yes. in a con we, we we don't we don't talk about. But you were at Konaru I mean Konaru, you were at Pida's live in 2015 um and I have been very confused by that live in general because like Pita had friends and maybe you could tell me who the others were I remember there was you but that's the only one I really remember um actually... uh, Martha Martha was there she performed uh one and only with us oh okay cause um actually yeah I think I do remember Martha but anyways I do have that I do have video of that Actually, no, I think I deleted oh, it. God. I think I deleted it since. Okay, like, good. Yeah, you're lucky. Only, the only reason I deleted it because I was like, oh, I don't want Konari around. But I did go through and I deleted a lot of stuff that I figured I was never going to use. And I'm not really that, like, nostalgic for keep everything I ever filmed or keep everything like that. So I just deleted a lot. I even deleted a lot of, like, original interviews because, like, the edits already exist. So I don't need, like, you know, the, the original footage for some of the ones I didn't care about that much or I don't think are worth really keeping. Um... But how did we get into Oro Tomita? Let's talk about this. Um, I can start. Uh, so I really like Vocal Aid, and, you, and it just went downhill from there, pretty much. Um, but that's the TLDR of it. Uh, but the long version is, um, you know, I like Vocal Aid stuff. I found like dance covers for like Vocal Aid songs, and I was like, oh my god, this looks super cute. I want to try to do it. Little did I know that what they were doing was exactly the same exact shit I was doing, um, which is Oldo de Mita, which means I try to dance. Yeah. Um, and then um, it just kind of like went down from there. I didn't know that like this was a huge thing at like conventions or anything. At first, I thought it was like the only kid dancing in the hallway, and then like I met like Martha and everything, and then it just like exploded, and like I said, went downhill from there, and that's how I got into it. And of course, it like spiraled into like idol stuff, and um, you know, doing covers of like idol songs, and yeah, I've been doing it for, since I was 10, 10 years old, and I'm twenty. So oh my god, that's a long time. No, no, not look, like maybe nine or eight. I don't know. I don't remember. It's funny because uh, my story is like quite different. Um, I actually once again, funny enough, I did discover it through Vocaloid as well. Um, but I think it was the, uh, uh, gosh, I don't remember exactly. Like I remember, like the Project Diva game came, Project Diva games came out. I was playing a lot of those. I think it was I first started playing the PSP ones, like I, I like bootlegged them or whatever the fuck with my hacked PSP. And uh, my then girlfriend at the time um, liked playing them as well. And um, somehow through the magic of the internet, because um, she was she loved the music, but she never liked Vocaloid. 
So somehow through the magic of the internet, she discovered um um uh you tight you uh, wait first of all it's you tight right that's the way you pronounce that and then it's like oh uh, it, it, um well they're the ones who sing and yeah, um, it, it, that Mita is the ones that I try to sing. Yeah, they're the ones who sing. Now I know that's slightly off topic, but that's that's where this all comes from. Because none of this was me. Like I, I was kind of like going through my kind of non weeby phase, like not as weeby as I kind of turned into. And so she discovered all the the the, the ones who could sing, the Utaita Mita, and um, and she she discovered them, and through there, through her like down the rabbit holes of like you know Niko Niko Doga and like others other uh oh um, god Niko Niko Doga yeah she she had discovered dance uh, people with dance covers um and she was sharing that with me it's funny because at the time I'll be straight up honest I'm not even up front uh, I don't think I've ever said this before I didn't I thought it was a really stupid concept I got the singing I really did but for some reason I could not gra- wrap my head around people dancing people just watching it I remember um I'd already seen uh, Hatsune Miku's live. Let me see where is it. I found this yesterday, right here. Hold on. I went to um. I went oh, to her first LA live. Yeah. I wanted to go to that as a kid so bad, so I can dance with Luke Luke and I Fever. And this, and the... I, I, I didn't realize this is right up there. Like I, I, I've had this like for forever. This, this is the program guide for that. Um, oh my god. And there's, there's even like people who put this together. I didn't. This is like you can make your own little Miku. Uh, paper doll and um they even sh- they even have like l- they have like the set and then they-, they have all the lyrics for it. this is like romeo and juliet but uh but anyways wow. the reason I I bring- look at that. yeah the reason i bring it up is because um when we-, when we we didn't know there was an opening act but the opening act and nobody talks about this it by the way yes, it was danceroid it was danceroid i remember act- that the uh, opening act was Danceroid. They weren't listed anywhere. I didn't like. I, I didn't even realize they were guests at AX until like we're like, who are they? We thought, dude, I knew they were guests at AX that year. I was like, oh my god, I want to go to AX and see Danceroid and 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 do Galaxy with them. <laughs> yeah, like, so for those that don't know, Danceroid is like you know, they they're a dancing Vocaloid group. They're uh, um. So I was just so surprised. I was so I was so surprised by it, and I'm being so confused. I'm like, why? Like they're not really like. I'll admit this is all like this is all stupid takes. Don't quote don't quote 2020 manual on this. I was I'm like quoting all of this. I was like, why would anyone care about watching people just dance? Like, come on, they're not doing anything. That's basically what I was thinking. And I remember like I remember sitting there watching the and we actually missed part of the performance because like the line to get in was stupid like you know uh, and then they actually even though they opened um, I don't remember the exact time we see the content was at seven they didn't perform at seven Danceroid they performed at like six like something like that you know what I mean so um, mm-hmm. we we just happened to be there like early obviously because you want to get in your seat before the concert begins but for some mm-hmm. that show was beginning early uh, you know anyway they, they more than likely they had a limit on how long they could be in the, in the, the sta- it wasn't Staples Center it was um they call that place the Nokia Theater which back then was the, back then it was Nokia now it's Microsoft Theater but um mm-hmm. Anyways, and I remember being so surprised by the dancing, and then, like, years later, this was the thoughts I had forever. Um, years later, it was mainly through friends I knew, like, literally, like, friends I knew, like, you know, um, Tiffany, obviously, being a exa- good example. Heidi was probably the first one I actually met who uh, I got to know who was, like, a dancer person. There was Nikki, of course, who was in the same group that Heidi was. There were some other friends, like, Beck, and um, Beck, who... Um, has done some interviews for us. She also had a dance group called uh, Empire, who like won one of the. Oh, and then uh, I should back up. Um, one of the big things that one of the big ways I discovered these people is through the the um, Orotimita contest that J Pop Summit had. Oh my god! I've always wanted to participate in yeah. that. Yeah, that was like a and, dream. And we knew like I, all my friends, and I I never talk about this anymore. Too bad Ezra here to reminisce with me. I never talk about this anymore. But like. Um, I made the running joke that like A to G was kind of was kind of being formed out of them that we knew them all. Like the first year, Tiffany won, and like she won with and Dance Ride was there too, by the way. Um, the very first yeah, I remember year, that. I remember seeing video of it. Yeah, Tiffany won. Um, I didn't I actually. I was there. I, I saw Tiffany, but I didn't know her. Like I was like, oh, this chick won. I remember like watching it. And I, I've told Tiffany this many times, and I was like, I don't get Dance Ride. I don't get dance stuff, and I was just being boomer. Um, and then You're the next, boomer. yeah, and then the next year. Uh, cause mind you, J-pop summit was a lot smaller back then. Like if you, you could just 
go anywhere else. But if you were there, you you just saw all the big events because there weren't like a whole lot of things going on um, in these earlier days. And the second year, Tiffany was like, I think she was a judge, but she definitely wasn't competing. I think Marjorie won that year. Um, who's also like in the K-pop group with Tiffany right now, but also that mm-hmm. year, um, Heidi competed for the first time, and I saw Heidi there, I saw Marjorie there, and then I think it was a year or two later was when Empire run, won, and that was the group that had back in there. And TLDR, like, I, I met a lot of people through this, and then I think the next year they did, um, a collaborative dance event that was called... <sighs> Shit, because the video is still on our, on our the AJ YouTube channel, um... Iris? I don't remember what the hell the name is. I, I know I know Iris is an Wait, idol group. What? I know Iris is an idol group. But I no, uh, were... but I think they did call it Iris too, like as well. Um I, I can't remember the name, but I think it was Iris. It doesn't matter what the what the group's name was. It was this big super group. Marjorie was in it, uh Tiami was in it, Tiami's Tiffany and Ami, Heidi was in it, um, Empire was in it, and a few of the dance groups I didn't even know at the time were in it. And um I pretty much met all the NorCal the older Sabita scene like in one fell swoop and uh I got into it. And then um, around that same time, this was about 2016, around that same time, um, I got forbid I sort of discovered Old Smith on my own. So that was my long-winded way of saying how I got into it as a fan, as a pure fan. And then at, at some point, like, I was like, hey, what do you know? This is kind of fun to watch. You know, people have talent, you know, like, dancing better than I could ever. Fun to watch. It really is. Um, and I... Um, and I totally stumbled down a rabbit hole. I, I never thought I'd have favorites. I thought I would just watch a few dance covers. And then suddenly I had favorites. And then um, more recently, as in like after 2017, 2018 or so, I started like becoming... 2019. No, I, I, started getting, I started getting more aware of some of the, the differences in style and so on. Um, like I started getting more into the Chinese scene. Uh, not to say I never was... And then, yeah, there we go. That's pretty much my story. My long-winded story of how Manuel became an Oda Tamita fan. Um, nice. Yeah. I, I've, I've never danced and I never planned to, but, uh, but yeah, I, I've seen uh, I've seen them dance many a time. I remember I was at Kraken Con one, one, one year, and I was rooming with the Empire, and back at her sister, whose name is Iris also, by the way, um... They, it's uh, funny. I'm wearing my Irish shirt. Everyone, Iris, Iris, Iris. Iris. All I really know about Iris, uh, my, I know a lot about Iris, but all I can really tell you about Iris right now on on the hot on the hot seat is that they're like fucking. Well, they are amazing. But if you ever um, if you ever want to like just 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 like sit around and lose your entire day with like some people fangirling over them, go to Peachy Parade and ask them what they think about Iris and. Um, and they oh, won't, I know. And they won't I shut know. the fuck up. Like, you know, forever. They will just talk forever. Um, I'm not going to say who, but one of them is really good friends with another Oh, yeah. Member. Should I say who? No, I, I shouldn't. No, shouldn't. don't. But um, I, know, I know one of them is really good friends with the Iris member. Like, yeah. they're, they're pretty tight, actually. Um, I, I, yeah, I won't say who either, but, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I wouldn't even be like, hey, because it's too obvious who it is. But I will say this, um, as a quick little plug, this has nothing to do with that. Um, we do kind of have, like, Peachy Parade members in succession. Uh, Ren will be on our Drink Talk Learn this Saturday. Um. Oh, nice. That's gonna be funny. Yeah. For those that don't know, Manuel and Ren have a long-running history of ruining, uh, A to J podcasts with alcohol. And by ruining, I mean making fun. But, uh. So, but now that we're actually trying to be drunk, so uh, so tune into that. It's Fourth of July, and it was like you know AX weekend, so we had, we have to like you know step it up. Um, but yeah, we've had Megan on in the past, and uh, I think next week we're supposed to have Cat. So, um, everyone but Sylvia, who's moving right now, so she, she wasn't really able to be on anytime soon. So, uh, it's like Peachy Parade takeover. I even bought no joke, I'm not exaggerating. I even went out and bought peach uh, peach vodka today. Um. So we can make it a real peachy experience. So let's talk about some of our favorites. Now I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I know Kanaro. I know Kanaro. Like this is Kanaro's choice, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna steal this video from her, sorta. What? I'm I don't this. even know what video it is. It's, 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 if it's Kuka, if it's Kuka, I love her. She's my. Yeah. She's my. Oh, she's always gonna be our number one. Is it? Is it? It is. I'm still in the baby Kuka one. Oh my god, I love Kuka. Yes, I love. So, fun fact, I'm just kind of still doing some YouTube. I'm going to put the volume down a little, so hopefully we... Uh, for the record, most, Jap- most Japanese stuff won't, won't, like, block us in countries, but yeah. 
Now, I actually forgot to mention her, like when I was talking about everything right now. Oh, one, one, one cute thing that's different about Zoom and Discord, the way we stream, is that Zoom, you can't trust the volume. Like, you, oh, it's a... Uh, Koi Kana. Koi Kana, yeah. Yeah, that was my first ever cover I saw of her. She doesn't have the original cover up anymore, and I can't find like a re-upload of it, but I found it. This is like her original channel, the one I linked you. I thought they deleted um, it, by the way. Two. No, it's still up. It has like a couple of little like outtakes and like just like little things hidden in there, um, but this was one of them. Now, uh, the reason I bring this up is because I kind of forgot about Kuka until like I mean, like, I, I didn't forget about her, because obviously... I, I, never, I never forgot about her, period. Like, obviously, I, I knew when she joined SCU and so on, and I, I knew when she was auditioning for Hello Project. But I mean, in the, the scope of Oro's Mita, I forgot about her, and I had not, like... But even now, um, I should mention that this is also one of the people that my then-girlfriend discovered and just to me, and we were all like, yay, Kuka, yay! And, um, and like, um... It, it, it was it was really it was really uh, it was really nice and cute and whatever to watch her like grow up um mm -hmm. cuz like she like i think she was even younger than this in some videos um but i remember her like doing resident blue i think and she was wearing yes i saw like i saw that she was wearing boots on. that were like way too big for her and she was like kind of clomping around um you know what i mean like she was just like yeah. like wearing her mother's boots or something um um, she I, actually, I should find one for you right now, actually. I know. I, I saw it. She actually, um, her, speaking of her mother, her mother was in a couple videos back in the day. Um, I never just if she was a stage mom or just a really encouraging one. Um, but She's just really encouraging, honestly. Yeah, for the record, I, I'm pretty, like, obviously Kuka was like, you know, uh, um, but I will say this, the grandest service of Takuka was that she never was accepted to a Hollow Project, Hollow Project audition. Um... Even though she was really well known in the in the overseas scene, like I thought, not gonna lie, because um, I, I kind of lived in a microcosm where I didn't really know fans of like stuff. Um, I always assumed. I'm gonna pull this up. Oh shit! I didn't mean to... She's so um, cute. I meant to copy. Hold on, let me see. Um, I, I loved I loved all of her Kiari Evolution um, covers. Um, hold on, let's, let's get let's get some. Uh, oh, it is opening over here. Okay, let me close this. Um, so we're gonna watch this one because this is the one that I have the most. The, I don't want to say those memories with. This is the one I remember the most because uh, those boots. Which actually, she's she's older here. This isn't the video I'm thinking about, but whatever. We're watching this one anyway. This was not the video I was That's thinking about. That's this, the this, one. This is Resident Blue. This is Resident Blue, but this is not the. This is, I was thinking about a different song then. But we'll watch this one anyway. I do remember this one. Um, and she's a bit older here anyway, so it's a nice little progression. Um, but yeah, she did do a lot of uh, a, a lot of Kennedy Revolution songs, which Kanara loves. Um, it was the best. I'm just upset. Like I said, I'm just upset that she was never accepted the Hollow Project. Um, she had. Oh, and by this point, she was singing. Um, I'm actually glad you found this one. I forgot about this. She sings in the next cover I sent you to, her Uza cover. Yeah. Which is which is one of my fifth top favorite ones of hers. And um, I I want to say that there are videos of her. I, I mean, I don't think they're ever on her channel. They might still they might not even be on YouTube anymore. But I remember like going down the rabbit hole, just like you know, going next video, next video, next video. And there was one video I remember seeing where she was performing outside of a station. I don't know what station yes, that was. Yes, I saw. I actually, I actually was looking at that one like before I sent it to yeah. you. Yeah, and, and then but the, the big the, the big thing about it was that she had like a handful of woke. Like I don't know, like I don't know if they knew she was gonna be there. Maybe she had like went to Twitter or something, or maybe she had talked about it in a video that I'd never seen. But there, uh, or, or it was just chance. But there were people who knew her there. And I remember like, oh shit, she's like kind of famous, like you know, or at least a handful of people know who she is. She was like on a couple of like TV programs. Oh, I never knew that. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I never was too huge in the Kuka fandom, but it was just like one or two like spots, like talking about like her YouTube thing. And there you go. There's a video of her doing "Help Me." Oh, I'm gonna listen to that right now. Hold on. I think it, I think in the recommendations it, it should have like it should have like more. But this one's like this. Oh no! This, this, this is actually recently. this is actually the video. I think this is actually the video. This is the this is the direct video I was uh I was thinking about too. Hold on. Yeah, I'm 
This one was uploaded like a few months ago, actually. Did they just find it again? Yeah, this is this is actually the exact. This is the video I was thinking of, because it wasn't her filming it. I don't think it was anyone related to her, and I was just like, "What the fuck?" Yes, yes, that, this you is the see, video. You can see her mom recording. Yes. like in the corner. But too. this is the video because I remember she had she had, she had Woda, and I was so. And I don't think I knew what Woda were, by the way. Um, okay, now, me in the pink. That's me. <laughs> now, actually, real fast, I will say this. Um, we, we we had a we had a pot we had a, what was the pot oh no we had the hollow project um tier list a couple weeks ago now this is slightly off topic but i've, I've been thinking about it ever since we did it why i didn't mention this um you, you know how woda you know how woda gay i mean not woda you know how woda gay kind of is like <laughs> i love the cook is really loud um you know how the woda gay thing kind of became really popular with um the romantic yukata moto whatever like you know the, the specific moves now i don't know if you knew this i don't know how old you are in in, in the in searching up like weeb terms on wikipedia like no, normie wikipedia but if you ever went to wikipedia and you looked up otaku um not otaku sorry woda if you looked up woda um i don't know what the entry says now but um the entry back then used to say like you know i'm paraphrasing a little about the main part but this is the last part that matters it's like a, a a a fan who's who's like you know a hyper fan of idols but the next part was the crazy part. It's like usually of, of, of the of the Hello Project Idol Miki Fuji, Miki Fuji, Fujimoto. So she was actually in the Wikipedia entry for Woda for years, from like 2009 like until about 2011. And I thought that was hilarious that like nobody um that like nobody fixed that for years. That as if Woda were only Woda if they were fans of Miki Fujimoto. But yeah, this is Kuka performing Help Me um, with her cowboy boots. It, um, I'm trying to wait to see if I... Oh, look! There's, a, there's more Woda. I wonder what station this is. I mean, this is, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think this is, like, you know, anywhere that... Uh, she lives in, like... Yeah, this is, like, in the um, country somewhere. Well, somewhere, like, not, like, Tokyo, I'm saying, but... I forgot what prefecture she lives in, but she she lives in a prefecture. Yeah, obviously. well, in a prefecture. But I know what you mean. Like she lives like uh, I don't want to call it. She only she lives in the country, but she doesn't live like in the touristy ones. That's that's what kind of what you mean. Yeah. Uh, like in the Seto Uchi region, yeah. which was the reason why she auditioned for SC48 because her mom didn't want to move all the way to Tokyo or like have her move like on her own to Tokyo. Uh, she, like, her mom really wants to be involved. Like not as like a stay home, just like as a general errand. Cause like, shit, I'd be scared my kid moved out to I, I... the entertainment stuff. But um, yeah, that's actually one of the main reasons why she she auditioned for SU48 is because um, she wanted to be close like, to her family and her family wanted to be close to her too. And oh, I don't that know. was, huh? Oh, go ahead. That was why. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, no, that was the reason why she auditioned for SC48. Well, she was also getting to, like, AKB during, like, the end of, like, her, uh, during, like, uh, her audition stuff for STU. Well, like, yeah, like, a year or two before auditioning for STU, so, um, yeah, that's all I want to say. Yeah, the, um, fuck what I was going to say. Um... Shit, I, forget, I totally forgot. I had to, to say that it, thought that. it doesn't matter. He was amazing. Um, like I said, I remember going to a, a panel at like uh, the very first idol panel I ever went to, which I think I know the person who runs it now. I, I, I can't really remember her. I, I, I didn't really get to know her until years later, and I don't remember her name right now. But I'm not making this up. Now, it was like 2013 ALA, and I went to it, and it was a panel on idols, and it was okay. At one point, they mentioned Kuka, which which I thought was interesting. I'm like, oh, there's fans of Kuka. But I remember being in that panel, I was like, I could do better. And that's how we ended up doing, um, well, like, once again, me and, and, and some, some friends was like, let's do our own idol panel. That's how that started. Mm-hmm. But um, that's a little aside I never really mentioned before. But but yeah, Kuka was never was never won a Hollow Project Edition, which is the one of the great tragedies. They fucking allow, like, some, like, weird people into, like, the eggs. But not Kuka, or uh, they, st- they call them eggs still. I don't know what they call people. Can't you say? They just they um, just can't you say now. Yeah, can't you say? But the uh, but yeah, I'm like whatever. Let me before we go on to some. It's also it's also fair to mention that the at the time the Kinky Say well I think it still is like this but the Kinky Say um, program 
you actually had to pay to be in that program. Oh, really? I didn't like, know you had that. To pass, yeah, you had to pass an audition. Okay, once you pass the audition, you have to pay for lessons and like all this and like I think membership too. I forgot I forgot how it was formatted, but I know once you enter in the Kenki State program um, and pass the audition, you have to pay fees. You have to pay to basically be in there. That's stupid. That was probably I think I think that was another reason uh, that Kuka mentioned why she couldn't like uh, continue like auditioning for Morning Mesa Medics because like the fees for Kenki say are super expensive and everything, and well, going to Tokyo and traveling like for events too. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say now. Thanks for bringing that up. Now, K- Kusumi Kohara, I don't know if you ever read this. She did a she wrote a biography. Funny enough, when she was graduating Morning Musume, I think it was called like Career Change Seventeen. That was like, the actual title of the book. And she was seventeen. She re- she wrote her first biography, and um. Um, some fan translated it into English and had it on Hello Online back when Hello Online had torrents, uh, RIP oh those days. But um, but the reason I bring this up is just like this whole little aside that she meant. For those who don't know, Chris McCarr was like kind of from the country somewhere. She like lived in the country because there's like there's that part of our audition where she Sinko goes to see her perform, and it's like she lives in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, but um at her house, but um. I guess her and her mom moved to Tokyo and kind of left the rest of their family back in the country. Um, and I just found that whole concept amusing. And I don't think her, I think the implication was that the mom just kind of like rented a place and Akusuka Kahara just like lived by herself um, <laughs> during her whole time with Morning Musume. But uh, I just thought that was an interesting thing to note about uh, the whole thing about traveling back and forth from Tokyo. Um, if you, uh, but then again, Japan's a lot smaller, so it's kind of the equivalent of going up and down to NorCal, SoCal, like every, every, time you want to see your family or whatever but they have faster transportation also mm-hmm. because yeah Japan's better but that's another story and I don't mean like in general I mean like in for transportation but um anyways uh Kuka's an STU 48 they're the one with the boat right yes they're the one with the boat yes they're on the boat um you remember those memes from like you know like fucking five years ago or whatever I'm on a boat <laughs> um but yeah they're the ones with the boat everyone goes to Port Kuka um, Please. Yes. Uh, what, what is her? What is her actual name? I forget now. Um, Sakaki Miyu. Miyu. Yeah, I'm like something Miyu. That's all I remember. It's like something Miyu. But yeah, that, that's her name, Kuka. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie. I thought she deleted her channel. Um, that's actually quite quite amusing that it's still. She up. has a. Lo- she has. She has like most of her covers on Pride, but there's some that. Oh, okay. Through. Um. Now, back in the day, also like when Holo Polo Online had his torrents up. Um, the reason I I thought I thought that they were I, I forgot um, what audition it was. It definitely she didn't win it, but there was some talk of something she was doing that she might delete her channel. So somebody had like archived then her all her videos from that time up to that point, and um, I don't think I have that uploaded anymore. I've long since like deleted it on accident or it was lost to another hard drive. But I do remember at one point I was like, oh, I got I got to download all of her dance covers. I don't know if I ever care that much again. I think all of us were like that whenever, like, she announced that, like, you know, she was doing an audition. Yeah. It's like her channel's gonna like, be Like, we were like, oh, shit. Hello Project Archive would, everything. Yeah, Hello Project would have made her delete it. Um, Upfront would have made her oh, delete yeah. it. Uh, but, so. uh, fun fact, though, she does have a new YouTube channel. Um, it's under her, uh, SU48 named Sakaki Miyu. And she does do dance tutorials and, oh. like, just other YouTuber stuff. I think I linked you one. Um, but uh, she does do dance tutorials and uh, dance covers from time to time. So they, so AKB did give her back her YouTube channel. And honestly, if she was in Hello Project, she would not have had a YouTube channel. Period. Yeah, that's why she's supposed to lose it. I don't think I've ever seen this one. And hold on, I didn't, I didn't mean to talk about Cookie for this long, but I really want to. Uh, Cookie really got me thinking, reminiscing. That's a better word. She got everyone thinking. I remember um, there was an a- there was an a- PMX where Molly had like was cosplaying AKB48 um, MB outfits like every day. It was kind of interesting. I I do remember she she did Uza at one point. I'm like I forgot whose outfit it was. But it's basically, it's basically this, um, you know, black with that white shirt and tie up on top of it. Oh, she's singing again. Yes. I, I don't know why. It's just like her old. It's just like her old covers, but like 
Yeah, I don't know why I didn't notice that she was that she said Uza earlier, but yeah. Uh, also, the giant Snoopy that's in that chair. Um, at one point, it, it stops being there, and I'm being very upset. Like I, I think they, I think they moved it, but like yeah. But I remember being very upset when it wasn't there for a couple videos. But I remember watching this when they came out. That's the crazy thing to think about. <laughs> like I remember when there was a new Kuka video, I was just like, hell yeah. Yeah, speak, speaking of like her videos being probably being gone, this is a, someone else's upload. This isn't Kuka's channel. Oh shit, I didn't mean to scroll down. But um I gotta pee, I'll be right back. Alright. But yeah, this is a re-upload. So I wonder if I wonder if AKS like or whoever the fuck. Um made her delete that original one. If anyone else has any favorite uh, Oro to beat the dancers they want to talk about or whatever, um, feel free to throw some in the chat. We're gonna we're gonna move real fast to Jaiwu for a minute. I can talk about some of mine. We'll kind of take turns before we wrap this up. I wonder if this is gonna get us claimed because this, this is a even though even though her, her singing is louder than the actual music. It's funny because you guys can't really see it, but like, um, um, I don't know if Uza, the AKB48 version is on YouTube, but on the right, up next, is the SNH version of it instead. I can't tell if that's because of my, my, if it's suggesting it because all I watch is Chinese shit, or if it's suggesting it because, uh, proper Uza isn't on YouTube. And I'm buying time until Kunara gets back, so don't, nobody leave. We'll just we'll just sit here and watch Kuka some more. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize how nostalgic this would be. Uh, I remember when Kuka was in ST48 at some point, like a couple years back. Um, I want to say I was in Japan the my, my most recent trip when she was just kind of new there, and uh, some of my. One of my friends that I went to go visit um, to go have food with or whatever uh, gave me a Kuka um, photo card, a bromide, uh, or, you know, whatever. Um, gave me one of theirs that they got, like, you know, uh, I don't know if it was a photo book or like some release. And uh, I remember, like, cherished it like crazy. I have no idea where it is now. I apologize. Um, I'm sure it's somewhere safe. Don't get me wrong. But I just, if 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 somebody, oh, that was that was uh, that fall did look like it could have been better. But um, but then again, she's like. 10 but um but if somebody had a, like if it was a life or death situation had to find that photo card i could not find it i'd be dead um i have only the vaguest idea where it is including <laughs> but that's not really that unusual like i mentioned uh a few episodes back when we had like that episode we talked about bnk48 like how how nink had left and nink was my favorite that photo card i showed everyone even though it was in a protective sleeve like a hard one that it could never bend um, I'm not 100% sure where that one is. I'm sure it's safe, because that's probably the most safe out of all my photos. But, once again, if, you had, if it was a life or death situation with a gun to my head, I'm gone. Um, actually, let, let's, let's move on. Yeah, it's ending anyway. Um, I guess Kanaru can hear it from me when I get back, like uh, what I was going to say. But I want to talk a bit about Chaiwu. Now, this song is called, hold on, hold on, sorry. Shit, where is it? I'm not gonna, okay. This song is called Shao, Shao Jiang, Jiangku, and I had to look that up. Um, I cannot, I cannot, I, I can't read some Chinese, but I cannot read that. Uh, also, there's some extra stuff here. This is a dance cover group called, uh, Remix. Now, for those that don't know, Nico Nikodoga was kind of like the old site that everyone went to to look at, you know, Orotomita, Utotomita, and so on. Um, I don't think it's as popular as it used to be, even though I think people still do stream to Nico, 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 Nico. Um... I remember Tiffany had a channel on Nico. So did Heidi, but I remember Tiffany had one on Nico Nico, and I used to always go there and watch some of her streams way, way back. Um, I don't think she streamed there for years, but uh, I remember watching them without telling her. Like I was just like, "Oh, she's streaming." I'd see her on Twitter that she was streaming, so I go to watch them. I specifically remember one night 
um, I, I told you this a couple times, but I went to go visit a friend named Garway, a mutual friend of ours, and we had dinner together, and um, we were at this bar, uh, this ramen bar, and um, we, we watched a Tiffany live stream at the bar, like, what? you know, eating. Oh, I'm talking about, like, how Nico Nico, um, how I used to watch everyone's streams back in the day when they would all stream at Nico Oh, my Nico. God. Nico Nico was the shit. Now, like, I'm, I remember sitting on my own Nico Nico, and I never used it. Yeah, same. Um, no, I think you had to set it up to watch videos. That's the only reason I ever made one. Yeah. Because, uh, like, uh, it's not you like you still YouTube. have to nowadays, yeah. too. It's not like any other site where you just watch without it. You had to make one to watch. So I, mm -hmm. I, I did that to watch, and I just never... I think I commented a couple times. It's only I like Tiffany or Heidi's videos. Um, we're talking way, way back in 2015. Um, is Nico Nico uh -huh. still, like, a big thing? Like, I feel like it's it isn't. Still, it's still, like, relevant. It's used more for, like... It's more like a live streaming platform mm -hmm. now than, like, posting videos, like... It's kind of, like, morphed into, like, I guess the Twitch of Japan, yeah. if you want to put it like that. Because I know, like, um, I know whenever I watch, like, Toho stuff or whatever, or, like, if there's, like, an event going on, like, they'll use Nico Nico. Um, yeah, it's more for, like, obscure, like, live streaming, like, obscure stuff now. No, I was going to mention, the re real reason I brought it up, because I was going to talk about, like, briefly, but, like, the Chinese equivalent to that site is, like, uh, is Billy Billy, which, fun Billy fact, Billy. um, I was looking, I did, like I mentioned, I did that presentation on, on, on Jaiwu, and obviously Billy Billy is a big thing in, in the scene, because that's, like, it's not the only site, but it's the biggest one in China, uh, for those who don't know, YouTube isn't available in China, uh, or at least most of mainland China. Uh, and VPNs are technically illegal, even though everyone's all like, just use a VPN. They're technically like state. There is a VPN you can use in China, but it's like state run, um, and so on. But um, but something I learned that apparently Bitty Bitty is named after a character from a certain scientific railgun, and uh, everyone knows that character. Her name is Bitty Bitty. Apparently, it's one of her like nicknames or whatever. But yeah, mm, that, that's, I didn't uh, know that. Actually. Yeah, it's named after her. I, I only found that out when I was doing research. I didn't know that beforehand. But um, um, I want to talk really briefly about this group called Remix. I don't know if you, you've ever heard of them, uh, Konaru. No, I only know of like the Chinese love live groups. There's actually a lot That's of those. Really... Yeah, there is a lot of those. Uh, there's a lot of good ones. Um, the the Chinese seems interesting because it, it did exist like before, like it, it existed around the same time, like it really blew up in Japan as well. But um, the the Orotobita scene in general, and but the Chinese scene especially blew up with Goku Daku Jodo, which is a song from mm -hmm. uh from Garner Deli, which we're not gonna play because Sony has a exactly. has a Sony has a very notorious reputation of like not not just monetizing I, I can live with demonetization, but they have a notorious reputation uh, notorious reputation for like, you know what? We're blocking this video everywhere. Or we're blocking it like in a million countries, you know, and so on. Um my favorite, I, I remember watching a video, I, I wanna say it was by like Danny Gonzalez or like someone like that, like one of the old fine youtubers but uh i remember uh watching a video and it's funny because i've gotten this this thing too sony used to do this all the time it's like blocked in all countries but that's different than blocked worldwide and i don't know what the difference is um apparently there is a difference because those are two different things you can be blocked in but i'm like mm -hmm. how, how can you be blocked in all countries but do people not live in countries? I mean, is it like for the free people of like, can somebody if if I if I like flew to like an island that somehow had internet access but was not part of a country, can I watch it? Can I watch it in international waters? <laughs> um, so yeah, it always blew, it always blows my mind. Like, what does that mean? How is it like? What's the difference? If someone can explain this, I'm sure I can Google it and there'll be an explanation. But yeah, there is a. Uh, YouTube can give you blocked worldwide or blocked in all countries, and whatever. Anyways, um, I'm not saying the title of the song again because I had to look it up. Actually, I'll say it again. Um, no, I'm not gonna say it again. I closed it. Um, and this is remix. Canaro can't watch live because uh, I'm sharing it the wrong way. But they're amazing. They're a super group uh, made up of a lot of other famous dancers. Um, my personal favorite is in this group. Her name is Shisa. She's the one in red here. Um, mm -hmm. uh, she, it's, the guy wearing the mask is um, Luo, 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 Luo Juren. Something like that. Juren? Juren? His, his last name isn't listed here, but it's Luo. It's Luo. Um, 
uh, G Jojo is the chick like with the with the braids. Uh, Johnny Tong is the other guy with like the white hair, and then the the girl on the far right, um, wearing the blue, she's a uh, Pika Hao. And they're all kind of famous in their own right. Everyone, uh, I'm pretty sure Konara even knows this, this one dancer. Her name's Yao Ren Mao. She's pretty famous. Uh, like a lot of her dance covers have like millions Yao of views. Ren Mao? Yeah. Oh, oh, I gotta look up. You can look up. It's one word like Y A O uh, R E N M A O. And she has her, she has an official YouTube channel, which I don't know if uh, which I think it actually I don't think it, it's definitely like mostly fan run. She might be using some of it through a VPN, but she can't say that. How do you spell it again? Y A O R E N M A O. She also goes by the uh, a Japanese name uh, Riri Chio, but um, all her videos are Yaren Mao. She she's pretty famous because like, all her videos are like have tons of views, and she always dances with this bear, and. Um, even though she's Chinese, she seems really big in the Japanese scene. Like people, I don't think people even realize, you know, some of the the casual. Yeah, I recognize her. Um, she has a dance group with Pika Hao. With Pika, yeah, with Pika Hao. I mean, not Pika Hao. Uh, Jojo, um, and so on. There's a lot of dance groups here, uh, in general. But that's like, um, in, that's a thing. But yeah, what I love about Jairu different than um, Orotomita, is that the production values for some of the, the bigger covers, for some of the group ones, are insane. Um, like, I don't know if Kanara can, it, it, I don't know if Kanara's watching on the Twitch thing, but it's kind of caught up a bit, even though, like, she can't really hear it. But you can see they're in a, a real location with, a, there's clearly a crane, um, like a crane setup, like a, a camera crane, I mean to say. Uh, <laughs> And there's multiple shots and like I, I skipped over it but you can see some at the end there's actually kind of a storyline going on so like the dance is just kind of in the middle but like the video kind of has a plot and it's almost like who's funding these oh i think that's actually oh no that's not it um yeah right now is in my suggestions though hold on i um i don't know i'll bring it i'll bring her up right there but i found another chinese dancer that i like oh go ahead i'm just gonna show you right now right now real fast uh Kaya? I, I don't know if you heard her. Oh, okay. Now, I'm glad you mentioned Kaya. Hold on. I'm going to put Yaren here. She's actually from Hong Kong. Yes. Okay, thank you. You said exactly what I was going to say right now. Now, um, the, it's funny because she's one of my favorites, period. Um, but I felt weird putting her in the Jairu conversation, especially in our first, the presentation I did over the weekend, because she's from Hong Kong. And um, obviously, um, on the ground level, especially with, between the dancers, they do know, like, a lot of them do know each other to some degree. Um, it, uh, I don't think, uh, What's Her Face has ever really done many collabs, but she's, she's done some Billy Billy, like, uh, challenges, Kaya has, I mean, uh, where she's covered mm -hmm. some of the songs that everyone else does at the same time everyone else does. But, um, but yeah, I always felt weird, uh, mentioning it. And I actually don't know what the, the, for those that also don't know, Hong Kong speaks Canto and not Mandarin. So, um, I actually don't know um, if they have their own term for it. Uh, I don't even know who I would ask on that. <laughs> like, as I think way. I think they use the same term because um, we call it. I know I used to follow like Hong Kong Idol Festival, and now I see the term oh. pop up every now and then for Hong Kong Idol Fest. Um, but like I said, not too sure if it's like I don't know if it's just like the organizers that just use that word or. How they actually pronounce it, like in Hong Kong. Yeah, like for, for the record, you can say Oro Tamita and it's still kind of like, you know, recognized. People will recognize yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's still recognized, even though it's not a, it's not a, it's not a Chinese term. Um, the presentation I, I did on Saturday, I mentioned some internet slang. Uh, I'll, I'll mention it briefly right now, even though this is YouTube. Uh, we'll watch a Kaya video after this before we move back to some Japanese uh, dancers. But, um, if you ever watch our Billy Billy, you see all the comments. It's kind of like Nico Nico, where the comments go live and they're like scrolling across the screen or whatever. Um, on on Billy Billy, if you ever see AWSL, um, it's a very common one you see. It's I I I will see la, which is like I died. <laughs> um, which basically is like the the exclamation like I'm dead, you know. It's something you, when you really like something. If you ever see six six six? It's it's Leo Leo Leo. That's like. Congratulations, this is good. And my personal favorite that I added in the presentation, you ever see, ever see, which is PR, 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 PR. 
it's kind of a shortening for uh, Pedal Pedal, which is the onomatopoeia for lick. So, um, do you ever see Pedal Pedal Pedal? It kind of means like, I like this, I want to lick it. And it's obviously a very sexual, like, you know, uh, thing to say. But um, don't, don't, don't go put it on everyone's videos, please don't. Uh, don't put it on anyone's, that's kind of creepy. But, um, um, but that's some internet, that's some Chinese internet slang for you. There's a, there's a bunch of others, but I just wanted to share those. This is one of my favorite Yavin Mao videos because, like, I think she shows it later on, but she's cosplaying her character for Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and I also love this song, something uh, Kima something Mercy. I don't, I can't really read the the, the, the Japanese. Or, actually, that's Chinese. But I can't. I don't forget the song's called in Japanese. But um, Tiffany, Marjorie, and Ami had a dance cover. There it is. Uh, Tiffany, Ami, and Marjorie had a, had a had a had a dance group together called Idol, and they they covered this song. And this is part where they all run around, and they ran into each other. <laughs> and that, that's my that's my. Oh, memory. I think you told me about that. Before. Yeah, that's my memory of uh, of this. Did you? Oh no, you didn't share one. What's your favorite Kaya song? Do you have a cover? Um, hold on, I have to I have to look at her channel again because I only recognize them by like the covers. Do you ever do you ever like? You don't recognize it by the title, but you recognize it by like the, um, what do you call it? The the, the thumbnail or whatever. That's always me with like Odorite videos. Yeah, to a degree, like uh, I, I like her Happy Halloween one. It's, it's super out of out of season, but uh, she has a really good cover. It's Happy Halloween. That's the name of the song, right? I'm kind of, um, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, and I'm scrolling good. through her videos right now too. She has a. Uh, I think she has a pretty good freely, yeah, freely tomorrow. Um, oh, uh, love me if you can. Everyone was doing that for a while. Uh, I like her love me when you can because there's a couple shots where she keeps kicking and stuff like that. And I guess like her skirt was a little too short, so there's, like, there's a bunch of censored prints in that one. She um, wears a lot of short skirts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, 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 I just found that funny because there's a lot of censored prints in that one. Um, what else is it? She's, she's done a lot of K-pop stuff recently. She did Pink Cat. When did she do this? This is uh, oh, only a month ago. I don't she think did I've... an Ariana Grande video too. Yeah. Let's see. Let's we, we can. How, how old is this? Because I know she goes back. She did a couple Hollow Project ones, I think, somewhere. Um, didn't she? I thought she did. Like her number one cover. Well, here's Koi Sudo Fortune Cookie. Uh, I'm not going to play that. Oh, I love that. I, li I like but that the, cover, but too. But there's Koi Sudo Fortune Cookie. There's some older ones here. I could have sworn she did a Hello Project one. Uh, I'm pretty sure she did. I just don't feel like reading all the Japanese. Um, Hello, how are you? I guess that's what that one's called. I like her number one Honeyworks cover. Number one Honeyworks? Mm-hmm. It's like one of her most recent. Number one. Oh, here it goes. I don't think I've ever heard this one. Oh wait, I've definitely seen this one. Um, I don't think I know this song though. Who is this? It's um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Mona from Honeyworks. Oh, now fun fact about Kaya. Oh look, it's a costume change. I don't think I've ever, actually I don't think I've ever seen this one. I think I just seen that thumbnail. But um, now there's a couple things about Kaya that I like. Uh, one is that uh, kind of similar to the Kuka thing. You you really see her skill. She she never really ages. That much only been a few, well, it's been a few years as well, but she I think she was always kind of older, but uh, she never was a kid. But um, you definitely see her skill like you know glow up because uh, mm -hmm. not that she was like terrible when she started, but she was a lot more stiff and she you know her, her moves were not sure. But she's done a lot better dancing as you go through her videos. Like watching some of her older older ones, I'm like oh, she wasn't exactly the strongest dancer. Uh, speaking of short skirts, I like how whatever she's wearing here in this like this outfit, like that that skirt does not stay down. She says her like she has shorts, but uh, but that that, that skirt is never gonna stay down. Oh, you wanna know what my favorite dance cover? Well, I have two, but you wanna know what my favorite dance cover is? Oh what? shit! Um, hold on, I, I need. You forgot it. Nice. No, I know what it is. Sorry, 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 Kai. I don't want to cut you off, but uh, no, it's not, it's not Marine Dreaming the hell's the name of the song? I mean, um, that's a good song, too. It is! Oh, what's the song called? The, the, shit. Shit. Oh, okay, the, let me look up Yako's channel first, and I'm sure I'll find it. Um, okay. Uh, what's the artist? Do you Yako. She, she, she's the... Oh, no. It's a Vocaloid song. Something... Ah, oh, she doesn't come up. Um, let me look up what Yako. does it sound like? 
There's an other group that covered, did an official version of it. Hold on, let me, let me hold on. I, I found Yako's channel. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's called uh, Kimi. Wait, is that Kimi? Kimi. Kimi Ido. Kimi Ido no so Somaru. Kimi, Kimi Ido no Somaru. Never heard of that song. You serious? Hold on. Yeah. All right, I can't do that actually. I was gonna make it into my thing. Now, oh, should I wish we watch this live with me? Um, you know what? I'm gonna send it to you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, everyone. No, hold on, everyone. We're gonna watch, don't do it. We're gonna watch this kind of insane. No, this is a good one. This is a good one. I want your no. opinion on this too. Hold on, hold on. Be like, no, no, I'm not watching this. No, no. Don't be fussy. You're being like a five year old. Um, okay, click on it. Hold on. Have, you seen, this, have you seen this video? Because speaking of recognize you get through thumbnails, um, I'm curious if you recognize that through thumbnail. Oh, this song. But yeah, it's Kimi Iru uh, Ni Somaru. Um, I, I can't read that character before Maru, but I'm pretty sure it's Somaru because I, I know the song pretty well. Um, but I haven't really heard it in like over a year. Um, are you playing it? Wait, wait, don't play it till. Yes, I'm playing it. Okay, well, I guess I'm, I'm playing like it too 20 now. 20 seconds. Oh, god damn it. You like hit it immediately. Okay, I'm at 22 seconds. Hopefully we're thinking, synced it up. Now! We're, I'm at 20, 29, 30, 31. Okay, 32. we're only like two seconds off. Now, I'm, I'm gonna try to find the part. Well, first of all, the, the song's like, what, it's kind of cool, whatever. Now, I'm pretty, I, I don't know if she's by herself filming, but it's important in a second. I'm waiting for it to happen. It hap I think the very first time she jumps, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe you'll see it on your own. I don't know if you, have you seen this one before, though, by the way? I, I, I forgot your answer. I haven't seen this Tippet cover. I know the song, though. Okay. I just didn't remember the... It title. happens right when the chorus starts. I, I just remember exactly when. You can even... Okay, right there. Right there. She broke her shoe. Now watch. Look at the heel on the left, on the right. Look at the heel. It's broken. And every... When she kicks her foot out, you see it just, like, hanging on by nothing. Wait... Hold on. And if you rewind, you can see exactly where she breaks it. She looks, the piece of shoe is still right there on the floor next to her shoe. Watch. Now look at what she kicks and when she stands on the heel. It's broken. <laughs> um, it's her left foot, but it's on the right for us. <laughs> oh, I see it. She broke the heel. And it's like- Jesus Christ. I just, no, and it gets even- I can see her like trying to stay on the tiptoe of her foot. Yes, and you know, this part, like, the best part of it is like, it's coming up later on where she jumps. And I'm like, girl, do not jump. You have no heel. You're gonna fall and break your neck. Um, Cause there is a jump at the end of the song, but yeah, like- Oh, oh my God. God. Dude, I would suck dancing. I'd be like, no, I can't do it. No, and it's crazy. Dedication. Like I said, if you watch, if you watch when it happens, she looks for a second, but she just keeps on dancing. Wait for it, the jump! I, who, who, who would do that? Her heel is like, it's flopping. It's like, it's only being held together at the very end. The very tip of it, I mean. I always wondered when I watched this, is how she got home. Uh, like from wherever she's at, she's very careful. I mean, the there are shoe repair places at like most stations. So oh, that she is probably true. just went to go. She probably went to go repair it real quick, and that's it. But yeah, there is another one I like, but I won't show the other one because I, I don't even know how to look for it right now on the fly. But this is like one of my favorite dance covers just because of that. Um. But yeah, a, a lot of Ultimate videos are on the the Japanese side are more like this, which is one good take. Which is fun. And then here at the end, she mentions it. But yeah, I'm like, she's just talking. To, I think she's by herself. She's talking to the camera. But yeah. Her Marine Dreaming one's really good too, even though it doesn't have anything like antic y in it. Now, who else do you have shared here? There, I see Penta. Um, I have DDD. Oh, let's look at DDD. I love DDD. I I I, remember, I actually watched it, like same thing with Kuka, same thing with DDD. I watched them basically grow up in front of my eyes. Uh, yeah, uh, DDD is another one that I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know of until uh, I was having a similar conversation with Rachel, who's a um, mutual friend of ours. You know Rachel, right? I feel like you know her. You might have seen her. I do know Rachel. Yeah. Um, and she's been on the podcast a couple times. I don't know if she's ever been on with you, but uh, 
Oh, yeah, she has been on with you, but uh, she's been on the podcast. She's definitely been on the Dream Talk Learns recently. Um, though she's skipping this weekend because the Dream Talk Learns go on forever. <laughs> they, oh, you, you, you think some of our podcasts go long, Konara? The last Dream Talk Learns was about five hours. Oh, I know this song. Mm-mm. Bad Apple? Oh, is that the song? Is that the one I share? Is that the one I share? No, oh, this one is, I share. Uh, this is not honey work. Uh, well, honey work is in. Is in the the hashtag. Oh, I shared the fun. I shared I shared you the fun. You put the fun one. I thought you put the. Yeah, I don't know what it's like little. Oh, there's a little one. Is that her? Yeah, there's. Yeah, that's her. So like, she was like six or seven. I forgot. Oh, you're right. I just saw that. I didn't. <coughs> I'm dying. Sorry. Um. This is one of my favorite EDD covers, honestly. She's so baby, and look at her. I didn't know this was her. I saw this video and I, I thought it was someone else. Look no, at the kicks. It's her. Look at those kicks. Look at the little baby kicks. Who are the people with her? Um, oh, they're from Hokkaido. I forgot their names. Uh, oh, the uh, Tanada Ryu and Mitsu Dan Kamen. Oh, well, I guess it's Kamen. Mitsu Dan Kamen the one with the mask. But I, I like how there's another video with them in it, like in the next. Upcoming one. Oh yeah, that should be their happy synthesizer one. It is <laughs> happy synthesizer. They have another cover too, where it's like they're in front of like this little mirror ball, and like it's like uh, in, in I think um, what's that park next to Harajuku? Oh god. Oh. Um. um. Is that your Yogi? Yo Yogi, yeah. yeah. Find that video now. Oh my god, can we talk about. Okay, at, at, at the end, I do want to talk about this one. I'm gonna pick it up. Um, uh, I love. Okay, back in the day, I used to love doing like Toho dances, like with Toho songs and everything. Mm-hmm. And um, they used to hold like these dance gatherings, like in Yoyogi Park, and everyone would do like Sierra's Perfect. Uh, Perfect uh, math class, or um, oh, here it is, here it is. This is in yoga, but I used to watch these like crazy when I was a kid. I was like, man, I want to do that. I want to get like three thousand, three hundred people, and like this year knows perfect math class. I know we start TV right now, but it's just uh, let me talk about yoga Yogi park because like yoga Yogi park is really like big staple in Odotemita because like a lot of like really really iconic um dances were filmed in that one park alone it could be either that like house with like a little garden in the front oh, yeah. um the art wall the um one of the like whatever field or um whatever bridge like oh there's a lot of like videos from back in the day that were filmed in like yo park and i've yet to do this because we're going to the park and i'm very disappointed so but that's not a story for another day. What is this? Perfect math class. This is class. Sino's perfect. Yeah, Sino's perfect math class. It's a Toho song. Um, it's from. It's remixed from like Sino's uh, music. Uh, music from like Toho Project, and um, they ha- it had a dance. Um, there's actually a lot of like Toho dances and things like that. I I do know a lot of them, but this was one like my first like exposed like oh. Big mass dance gathering at Yoyogi Park, like them just doing like a huge thing in like Toho cosplays and memes, and it was a fun time. Wish I was around for that. Rip. Is that person, is that character in the blue from from Toho? I seen you cosplay her. Yes, that's Cyrano. Oh, I never knew that. I mean, I always assumed they were from like an idol anime or something. I, I just. I was never really. I, I, don't, I, I know Toho by the most peripheral of, of, of ways. I love Toho. Fun fact. And they I, still. Uh, 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 actually, no, fun fact for me before we begin, go um, before you go on. Uh, every year in Hokkaido, they do the specific dance, you know, perfect math class. Um, I think it was. I, I think it was done by this dude. Um, to. to uh, comment that common dude. I forgot his name now. Oh, but yeah. He runs. He runs like the annual Sino's Perfect Math Class um, dance gathering in Hokkaido. And Loki, I 
I really want to go to one of those and try to meet them because like, they're pretty cool people actually. Look, my little fun fact is just for the fact that um, you can kind of see it from where like if you, if you take the the JR uh, but if you go by the JR station you can't see where the park is right there but um I've never been I've never been to the to Yogi Park in any of my recent trips when I went to Japan when I was like a lot younger I, I went to the park because back then back then fun fact I don't think I do it anymore at all but 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 like more in the 90s like even before I went it was kind of a famous place where like bands would go play we kind of like set up like you know anywhere and um, I think they passed an ordinance about that where you couldn't do that anymore and now you need like a permit to set up a, a, like a full band thingy mm -hmm. but um but apparently in the 90s you would, bands would just go play there all the time and I remember thinking you know what a crazy mecca that was for like old school VK and J-Rock bands but I went there to go see it because of that because I'm like oh look this is where like so and so filmed like their guerrilla lives or whatever um but um oh is this is TLDR, this is making me really regret that I never went to go see this, uh, th this place. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta yell at my boyfriend real quick. He is playing video games. Oh, go ahead. But yeah, this, this park is right next to, um, Harajuku, like Kanaro said. Um, I've always gone to Harajuku via the subway, which leaves you kind of, um, by, by the Wego store, that's on the big Wego store, by the Condomania. Oh, she's really yelling at her, at her at him, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. But um, it leaves you by the other hand of Tak Takashi the Street. Okay. It was funny because it looked like you were really yelling at him. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> it looked like you were really yelling. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. Um, he sounds so sweet playing video games. He's supposed to be studying. Oh. And I'm supposed to keep. I'm supposed to keep him like. Oh, is it his last week at school? No, it's just, he's just studying for interviews because he's, oh. uh, I'm not going to get into details, but oh. yeah. The only reason I mentioned that because, like, uh, <laughs> apparently some people are still in school right now, um, but it's like everyone's last week still is. But I guess some schools, like, I finished. Yeah, cause, <laughs> no, some schools apparently had, like, skipped a couple weeks uh, because mm -hmm. of the pandemic, and, and, but apparently they all did it at the same time. Um, so a lot of them are ending right now. Like, literally, this is the last week. Um, but because they're behind, I think we mentioned this before in a past podcast. For those who don't know, whenever a school has like um, a school-wide sick day, like maybe a snow day or whatever the fuck they have, that th those days don't disappear from the calendar. They just tack them on at the end, so uh, <laughs> you lose a bit of your summer. And that's apparently what happened to a bunch of like colleges. Like I guess it's some system around here. But then again, you're not around here, so it's probably not, it wouldn't affect you anyway. But yeah, in California, yeah. there's apparently, there's apparently a, a, some college system that's uh, exactly like one week late. So we watched we watch Baby DDD, so let's, let's, let's finish watching that. Um, yeah, back to DDD. Adult, I wouldn't call it adult DDD, but uh, how old is she here? She looks she's still I young. Think she's, I think she's in high school. She's yeah, like, I will say, like, I don't think she's like 25. She's but, not 18. She's oh. not 18, I know. She's like younger. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, um, this video is kind of presented in that hyper um, widescreen, so it's so it's kind of a little off off screen a little. Um, but I, I, hyper uh, widescreen always uh, upsets me. Doesn't fit our boxes. She looks so different than baby her. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know how I don't know how to describe that, but yeah, she looks different than baby her. Also, she's so fun. Every year she does a, diff uh, a new, like, Happy Halloween cover, or like, just a ho she does a Halloween cover every single year, and like, uh, she's done, like, Happy Halloween a couple years in a row, too, and it's fun to, like, see, like, her get better and better at the dance, like, throughout the year. Um, speaking of which, um, oh, little plug for Paida. I think Paida did a Happy Halloween cover, and the only reason I, the only reason I mention it at all is because to this day, that's the only. I don't even know if she danced. I think she sung. So, but uh, the only reason I know this because that's the only Pida video I've ever seen. I, I don't mean to say I don't watch her stuff. Just that I've never wow. seen her. Let me, let me tell you, I've never really seen her share it. So, um, and that one I stumbled across because it was just in my suggestions after watching Halloween, Happy Halloween, like thirty videos of Happy Halloween. When eventually Pida showed up, I'm like, what the fuck? That's Pida. I know Pida. Um. But besides, I don't think anyone I know has ever done that song. I think Heidi has, but I don't think anyone I know has ever done Happy Halloween. Um, hold on. 
Let's uh, go back to Kaya real fast. Kaya's Happy Halloween was how I discovered her. Which I think it was in that same exact same I run. discovered. I actually discovered Kaya through her AKB covers. Oh yeah, like we were talking about, like she she did uh, she did course to the Portuguese. She did uh, at least she did Valentine's Kiss also, but the the Watari whatever the fuck they're called, the, the seven. Uh, she, she, she 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 did the um she, she covered their version, not the Sayuri one. But yeah, I just covered her through this one. So this is her Happy Halloween uh, cover. I remember uh, yeah, this is I remember watching this when it was actually kind of new, which. Uh, what, what convention was that have been? Um, I was at a convention afterwards. I remember watching it. With like Rachel was there, and a couple of people were there, and we were all like, "Oh, look! It's a, uh, it's some like Hong Kong girl with like really long legs dancing." Um, that's more that's more Rachel's observation than mine. I will admit, because I'm not really one to like I'm not that aware of like very obvious traits. But, but I remember uh, when I was watching this, when I was watching Kaya videos with both Marjorie, Rachel, and I think Eunice at, at various points in my like convention life or whatever. Why we were watching the conventions, I don't know. They kept commenting like, "Oh, she has really long legs. She, like, she, that's why people like her dances." And I'm like, "Oh, mm -hmm. I've never noticed." Um, She's I, I mean, gone viral just from her legs alone. Exactly. Um, fun fact about that though, like I guess once you notice, you kind of do notice. But um, the other video we showed, the one for that um, the Honeywork song. Um, that one, you can really notice she had long legs. Here, I don't think it's as obvious, but um, it's the skirt. Yeah. That makes it long, like the short skirt and the. Um, it's actually like a illusion thing. So I, I learned about this. Um, if you if you have like a very short skirt and then like if you were like um very um like thigh high, like not thigh like mm, like very very high thigh high um what do you call it? Not like stocks, yeah. It actually like creates an illusion because like there's like little space in between and makes like your legs look not only slimmer but longer. Oh. It's a, it's an illusion thing, is what I'm trying to say. I mean that makes it's sense. Pretty big illusion thing. And like every other person that you ever see online, I'm pretty sure she's a lot shorter than you would imagine. Also, um, mm -hmm. that's like everyone though. You always think everyone's taller than until you meet them in person. Um. Judging by her height to that like railing, she's probably pretty short. But uh, even though she looks really tall, she's kind of you know, like lanky looking. Um, um, but yeah, the outfit's amazing. I like, I like the wings. <laughs> Everyone should do a cover of Happy Halloween. I can't believe this song's not that old. For some reason, I remember this video being like, like I said. But then again, I watched it when it was like new. But like, it's only gonna be three years old in, a, in like not even three years old yet. It's gonna be three years old in like four months. What the fuck? She releases on Halloween, and it always bothers me when people release seasonal stuff on the day. This should have been released on October 1st, so people could have watched it all of Halloween. Like, who's gonna watch this, like, Halloween day, <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, I did, but- like, I do! <laughs> I watched- I watched a lot of, like, the Halloween covers. You know, you know what I mean, though? It's like, I always- like, people do this all the time, like, for Christmas, they'll upload a Christmas cover on Christmas, Christmas Eve. I'm like, no, upload it when the season starts so that we can all watch it for the, the season, not just like a day or two that it becomes outdated. But yeah. Anyway, that's happening. Uh, let's see yes. what other let's see what other videos uh that's a video already. Um now, um what's that with Penta? That's her name, right? Yeah. What? You talk about, I never changed the name to Kaya. Let's talk about what's her name? Something, something. Um, what are those characters before the Penta part? Wait, what? What are the characters before the Penta part? The characters before the Penta part? What the fuck are you talking about? This girl, what is her name? Who? You Penta? Or? Yes. Penta. What's the first part of her name? Hold on. Oh, oh, Ab Ab Abu something. I forgot her name. Oh, a Ashibuto. Ashibuto, yeah. It's like feet. Anyway, um, fun fact. No, like, uh, the first character of that is kind of like w w what you use for like doing something in Chinese. So I was really confused, and I wonder if the I wonder if the root has to do with feet. Like, I, I move my feet, or I don't know. But um, it, it, I, I was like, what is that character? And the other one's like part of like the character for dog, but um. Oh, Monday's Melancholy? What song is this? Oh, this is a new video, too. 
Now, that song that we showed earlier, um, oh, we didn't show that one. Oh, yeah, we did. The Yavin Mao song, which I can't remember the name of the song. Keru Guren something, whatever the song's called. That, that, that song I mentioned where they all, when, when Idol did it, they all ran together and bumped into each other. There's a cover mm -hmm. that, I don't know what Penta, I don't know if that group has a name, because Yako's in it. Um, Yako, Penta, and like three other people um, have some dance group that do a lot of covers together, because they're uploaded to Penta's channel, I believe. Um, and uh, they did a cover of that song, and that was the, that was where I first heard it. Um, is she, is this, but yeah. Talk about her a bit. Uh, oh, I still see ZDD on the, on the thing. Let me change this. Um, I do remember speaking of Pida again. We should ask Pida to be on this. Mm -hmm. one. Speaking of Pida again, I, I, I remember like following her on social media, on Instagram or whatever, when she discovered some of the Penta filming locations. Um, oh yeah. And she's like, look, it's like I, I found like I, I stumbled across this building that like everyone films in front of or whatever. I remember that. Did she ever film a cover there? Because I never saw it. If she did. Uh, no, she didn't. As far as I know, though. Yeah, she might. Um, but then again, I'm not calling out Pida here. But there are some. What the hell? Hold on. Something fall out of her bag. Hold on. I want to see it again. Hold on. I'll, I'll finish my thought. In a second. Yeah, her, her the her the little hamster keychain fell off in that video. Oh. <laughs> did she mention it somewhere? It's pretty funny. Yeah. I don't know if she mentioned it. Yeah, there it goes. It flies too. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, but um, but like, uh, Pina and 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 Tiffany, what's that girl's name? Uh, Pina and Tiffany did a dance cover of um, that Koto song. The, the, the fuck was um, Sonic Planet? Um, yes. Way back in 2017, and I don't think they ever. Re I don't think Pina ever released it. Um, it's her covers. And apparently that's normal because that same year, the year before, I think it was the year before actually, um, Pida had went to J-Pop Summit and she did a cover with Marjorie and that one didn't get released like a full year after it was filmed. And I'm yeah. like, uh, because I remember, I remember uh, we were all having dinner one time, like uh, me, Tiffany, Marjorie and some other friends, like uh, we were talking about Pida and how she does covers with people and doesn't, doesn't release them. And apparently that's a thing, um, I'm, I'm not ragging on her too much because she, she'll admit it herself. But uh, but yeah, and and, the, and she released the, and then I saw her film one at that convention that shall not be named, and she didn't release that one for a year after too, and I'm like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, that Tiffany one, as far as I know, doesn't it, she never uploaded it? Um, it was a good cover. What's that guy's name? The the convention guy? Oh, shit, what's his name? He was on the podcast before. I can't remember his name. Glasses. White guy. We talk shit about AM together. Wait, what? Scarbing like literally everyone. <laughs> White guy with glasses. <laughs> like half the con scene. Ah, um, oh, shit, I don't remember his name anymore. But there's a there's a staff, a friend of ours. He staffed Hentai Con also, which Konari wasn't there for, but he got us a lot of interviews there. But he also staffed um, Anime Matsuri, uh, which we named there. Um, he got us interviews there as well, but I do remember he. Uh, that was the con I met him at, and he, he came out to go see the dancing. He was like, because the, the room that they danced in front of, um, it, it didn't have a proper wall. It wasn't see-through, but you could see shadows on, on either side. So if you were in the room, you would see their dancing shadows. And from the outside, you could see them staring through the wall. So it was kind of funny. Um, speaking of dance covers real fast, uh, not real fast, I can just like, not talk about this the whole time, but... Um, Speaking of Tiffany and speaking of Koto and whatever, Koto does a lot of I mean, Koto. <laughs> Tiffany does a lot of uh, Koto covers, obviously. Um, some are on her channel, some are on my channel. Uh, my channel being APJ, I mean our channel. But um, at one point, Tiffany did a cover of Platonic Planet to enter the J-Pop Summit Dance Contest. Um, the same one that actually that one uh, Iris and what that group was called entered as well. And. Um, Sorry, I just wanted to see like, uh, oh wait, are they gonna show like the thing fly off or just the mess up? I like ones that have like bloopers. Hold on, I just wanna. Oh, something yeah, else flew out. <laughs> something else fell. Like, girl, fucking secure your bag. Oh my god, things are falling out everywhere. <laughs> 
sorry. <laughs> like, secure your bag. Close that shit. Um, but at one point, we interviewed Koto, uh, and Koto mentioned how um, how they'd seen her dance cover um, of uh, Platonic Planet, like the one she did for G-Pop Summit. They they uh, not only had like Koto had seen it, but like apparently like her Kisa and Koto's mom all sat down and watched it together one day. <laughs> And it was just really funny. Uh, I wonder if any if that's ever happened to other people that you'll never know or whatever. Um, I know it happens. I know there's like this one um, a group that's in I think Utah. They're like a cyber cover group, and cyber like recognizes them like on their live streams and everything, and knows that they exist. Oh. And uh, Rena Hum has actually come out and like said like, oh, I watched your videos before. They're so oh. cool. Speaking of that, actually, funny you mentioned that. Uh, Rena Hamu, I think at some point, because um, J- uh, Tiffany and Am- Tiffany Ami, Tiffany and Angie have well, Tiffany and Ami do have a group together too. But Tiffany and Angie have a group together called Dem Pop, and they perform mm-hmm. at, at ALA a lot. Um, they've also performed at Fanime a few times. Uh, but ALA, they performed the last time last year, 2019, and they they opened with the Cyber cover, and I uploaded this to the Energy channel. And um, I don't think I even tagged it right. It definitely wasn't separate. It was the whole live. It was like, you know, I did have timestamps. It was just the whole live. I, it wasn't tagged properly. But somehow, um, uh, Reno Hama saw it. I guess she just, like, was clicking through, like, things. And she might have been like, oh, look, is this, like, you know, a live or whatever? And it, it, it opened with the cyber cover. Thank- thankfully, it was the first one, the first song. She probably wouldn't have skipped through the whole video. And she commented and she uh, she she shared it. She shared it or something. Like, shared it on, on her Twitter, like year, like obviously over a year ago. And like Angie, mm-hmm. I don't think Tiff, I don't think I was, I don't think Tiffany mentioned one way or the other. But, like Angie like lost her shit because Angie was the one who told me. She's like, oh my god, right now I'm almost high, uh, you know. Um, but no, no joke though. Um, I don't know if she saw it and then did this. It was by just chance because some of these are automatic. I will admit. But right after she mm-hmm. made that tweet, like the next day, we got copyright claimed for that song, and I was like, that was probably her. She's she like, probably bad because I feel like Rena Hummer probably was like, uh, should I turn my manager? Like, look, they made a song cover us, and he's like, haha, nice. And then yeah, he just like goes, exactly. that's what I imagine. Like, oh, that's so nice. Click. <laughs> like you think <laughs> they ain't getting shit. <laughs> so yeah, we got copyright claimed for that the next day, and I was like, you son of a bastard. But um. Um, I feel um, like she did it. I, sh- I feel like she showed like everyone because she was probably like super proud. Like, wow, Cyber's like being covered by cool guy Jean, and then like the <laughs> the manager and producer, and they're like, oh, that's so nice. And then click. <laughs> we want our money though. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, before we go to look at look at Night Fever and we start wrapping this up. Um, I want to just mention Shisa real fast. I already mentioned that she's my, one of my favorite dancers. I have links to all these videos. What? I think I have links to all the videos. I, I'll, I'll be careful not to delete my history. And I'll get them all. Um, I have links to a few others that we probably didn't mention here either. I definitely didn't go too far into my Chinese thing. It's a little off topic. It's not that it's off topic. But it deserves its own like background. And I, I don't feel like explaining it all right now. We did mention Kaya and, and Remix and mentioning Shisa here. Um, Shisa's amazing. If you go to her Billy Billy channel, similar to like Kaya that I mentioned earlier, you can see her skill really develop. She started with, I believe she was still in high school when she did her first videos. She was like in school doing them. Um, like, you know, in, like to the top floor of her school. Um, and then like now she's pretty famous and on right. Fun fact, uh, I mentioned Remix, I don't know if saw it earlier, but when Remix was first formed, it, the guy with the mask, uh, uh, Luojuren, he was like the main guy because he at the time he was like the most famous one. But she says definitely way surpassed him. Um, in a world where people where like these people don't really get that many, don't really get millions of followers like in um, Billy Billy, she has about a million. Um, but I think she has like more than all the rest of the remix combined. So yeah. Anyways, that's, uh, and but the, the sad thing about Billy Billy, which um, it's funny because like. They're partially owned by Sony of America now, um, and they partner with them in Funimation to do some projects. But um, mm-hmm. hopefully, they, 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 that means they're a lot more America friendly. It's hard to make an account there. Um, they it make is. they actually make you take a test. To, like I don't know if you've ever done it or if you've had someone else do it. For I've you. done it. I, oh. I know what, exactly what you're talking they about. Make you, they make you do a test, and the whole point of the test it's a very simple test. The whole point is they're trying to see if you actually know Chinese. Um, 
and there's people who help you with this all online because obviously this this is a thing um but it's hard you know you take you're i don't think they okay the people that correct me on this i don't think it's technically that you're not allowed to make one outside of china they highly discourage it they highly discourage it they, they make it like nigh impossible and you're supposed to have a phone number to verify there's obviously ways to do this there are people once again who will help you go to reddit there's a whole like you know uh subreddit to help you do this and they'll they'll, they'll confirm it for you kind of thing or you can, or even easier you can just make a google voice number and just confirm it yourself mm -hmm. uh, which is what i usually do but um but it's difficult um and but the sad thing about Billy Billy is that if you don't have a Google, uh, if you don't have a Google Voice, if you don't have a, an account, you can only watch the videos in SD, um, like you know, 480 or below. You can't watch an, an HD, any HD quality ones, um, mm -hmm. which is sad. And you can't comment. Um, you can still watch everything. You can even watch the live streams, but you can't comment. And the site is very Chinese in that it's very crowded. I don't know if you've ever been to like many Chinese sites, but they're always like super overloaded with like content everywhere. <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, so, um, everyone go join Billy Billy, but also be careful because it's, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to be a Chinese Ozo Timita fan. Um, but anyway, <laughs> and this is SANG, this is actually the real group doing their own little dance version. But l let's talk about Luka Luka Night Fever, it's the last video we have, like, on this little playlist here of sorts. Wh which, which, which flash mobby version of it is this? It's the Danceroid and some other like old school people. But I know Danceroid is in there. It's funny because this kind of, even though this song's a lot older and it's, um, it's just about. Um, I was telling Konar earlier because this song's in the new uh, Project Diva game, Mega Mix. And Mega Mix just released a new. Um... Oh, look. I've definitely seen this video before, by the way. I love this video. It's my, like, number one favorite order of the music video. I always go back and watch yeah, it. Yeah, look at everybody running in. It's so iconic. Also, in the beginning, you can see an AKB40 advertisement. Oh. I think I missed that. Where is this? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> this both looks familiar and not familiar, but, um... There's a really good version of, like... A, another similar like flash mobby version of the song that was done out, um outside of Shimending in, in Taiwan. Um, oh, I know which video you're yeah. talking about. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I can't find it. Ah. Oh, I found it. I found oh, it. Oh, you found it? I think. Put the thing. Um, so, Luka Oh, Luka no, wait, no, just kidding. It's another Danceroid one. It's really. Oh, somebody's in the chat. Who's this? Put Garu Cha. Sorry, I, I don't know when you said that. I just saw you right now. <laughs> what's what's Cha? Should I have said that? I don't know what Guracha is. Let me, uh. Let me open it in a new window in case it's uh so I can take a look at it. Oops, I didn't mean to go on top of you. Oh that sounded weird. Um, I didn't mean to go on top of the window I meant to say. Oh wait, I think I found it. I think this is it. Oh, show me. It's in, it's in Chinese. I mean, but it was done by Dan. It was like hosted by Dan Troy. Was it? Let me see. I would definitely I recognize so. it, like anyway, because it, it would it would. Uh, I can tell I you. I think this is it. it in there? I can tell. I can tell right away if it's Shimen Ding or not. Anyway. Um, everyone should go play uh, Project Diva Mega Mix. By the way. I don't know if that song is part. I think it's part of the the game. It might might, or might it not. It is. I mean, but I mean, it might might or might not be DLC. Is what I'm saying. But I think it's part of the main. Oh. Game. But then again, just buy the whole fucking package because like you can get like it's like a ton of more songs you can get like else. I mean, also. Okay, let's see what song this. Oops, 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 oops. 
if it was looking at my Facebook, hold on, let me, let me close that. Go look at my Facebook. <laughs> um, look at his Facebook. That's cringy memes. I mean that too, but I mean, oh, I'm not even joking. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna read this story, or like, we're not gonna have us any more. Death of Hong Kong. China passes sweeping national security law. Oops. Um, oh, oh, yeah, like uh, that's like breaking. Yikes. I don't know how breaking that is, like, because I don't know when that. I haven't refreshed Facebook in like hours, but uh, but that's like the top of my feed right now, and a lot of people shared it, which is why it's the top of my feed right now. Um, um. Fun fact: we, we actually went really deep into the Hong Kong. I think I told you earlier we cut it out of the the YouTube version because we did it on purpose. We did it just because we wanted to have the discussion. But then um, nobody was watching, so we kept going. And then people started watching. Like suddenly we went from like two viewers, like literally two, and one. And like I don't I don't know if they know, but I'm like we were watching, but they only said two. Um, but then like suddenly, and one of them was Leslie, and then um suddenly it went to like 10 so i'm like oh we, we were we were to stop talking about this and like so we just pretended we never did so let's let's let me look at this hold on i think this like i said i think this is oh video. this is this is um oh now, okay yeah it was hosted by dancer now fun fact that that building right there that red brick building that's um that's the place uh so, well, actually that's like the museum part of it but that's where we saw juice juice live i think it's called red house um if i'm not mistaken um that's where we saw Juice Juice perform live uh, in Taiwan. It's also where like everyone performs live. If you, it's kind of like the cheap live house. Like no offense, but that's like uh, that's like where you go if you want like a decent venue. But it's also like um, not, you're super not, cheap. Yeah, you're you're not like in a in an arena. I don't know how to describe it, but you know. But yeah, also it's like live house vibes. Yeah. Also, this whole area, like this whole street area, at, I, I think it's like every Thursday night or every other Thursday night. This becomes a night market, not a night market, but uh, an antique. Not. A, is the wrong words like an art market that's the one I'm looking for um but that's like at night and it's only like um look at all people running to it like the little girl is she part of the she a dancer or is she just running towards it because she's like dressed as like uh, I, already finished, I already finished the video oh i just started it right now because i stopped it to uh i stopped because i talked about hong kong like earlier but yeah hold on there's like a haruhi cosplay who like ran at least she looked like she was haruhi cosplaying wait is she Look at the water! Look, look at the overacted dolphin! Overacted dolphin! I didn't see him! I didn't see him! Wait, there's two of them. There's two of them doing the OAD in the background. Where? Oh, and they're doing this thing too, like the I don't know what you call that when you like go down and you swirl. But oh, the yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. There definitely is a Haruhi person. Oh, I didn't know this was a fucking dancer, right? I like the Lolita like in the back. Oh, it's funny because like uh, at some point like who was on? Oh yeah, Rachel was on, and and we were briefly talking about Chinese Lolitas, which is a whole like oh, uh, it's a whole different topic. I know it's a whole different can of worms, but it's it's very similar to the, to the Jai Wu versus Older Tamita, where they're but it's even more different. Um, but, in terms of like it seems like it's the same scene but it's like it really isn't like you know it's not an extension of the japanese scene at all or even the west the western uh lolita scene is way more of an extension of the japanese scene than the chinese scene is i like how there's somebody dancing like way in the background like are they just dancing along and they're just too embarrassed to join in probably too embarrassed to join in i wonder what this is though what this was um probably like a weeb event and then like yeah they like, were invited and they were just like, hey, let's do this. And they're like, okay. Oh. It, it, I was trying to read the description, but like, obviously, most of it in Japanese, but it, yeah, it always mentions that it's in Taiwan. But, um,. But yeah, that's the red house. It's outside of a. It's part of Shimanting, but it's kind of outside of like the. For those who don't know, Shimanting is kind of like the. Um, it's kind of like the. Um, it's the. It's the uh, Shibuya. To a lesser extent, the Shinjuku oh. also, but it's like it's like the trendy place in Taipei, Taipei main Taipei, because there's also there's also a place that people um, call Taipei is like New Taipei City, which also has its own trendy place. But this is like the trendy place of uh, main Taipei that has a lot of Amer it has actually has an American street um, where you can get all the, the big name American brands and there's a McDonald's that starts it up which is super American 
But uh, Super American. But uh, and it's one of those McDonald's that has a uh, a Ronald who's do who has like his arm out on a bench. So you can totally, oh, yeah. it's one of those. It's one of those, and I like that it's in Taiwan. I'm, I, like, it's rare you see those in the U.S. And it's in Taiwan that like has a, a you could like sit, and you, you could have like Ronald put his arm around you, take a selfie there. Uh, there's actually a statue. I'm not making this up. There's actually in a, in in where? What? What were you gonna say? Oh, I was say in uh, the Yokota in the Yokota base in Japan, the the Navy base that's in I think near Yokohama. Yeah. Um. The McDonald's inside there has oh, like one of those. It has yeah, one of that's them? what it reminded me. Yeah, it has one of them. Yeah, I think there's other McDonald's like around Japan that has like the arm stretching. What's well, really um, cool? Like I've never, I've never seen one like outside of the U.S. except that one I mentioned in Taiwan, in on America Street. Um, I, I've been to a lot of. Uh, to be fair, I've only been to the obvious McDonald's. Like I've been to the McDonald's that's in uh, Harajuku, uh, the one that has this dining area like downstairs, like in the basement. Um, and there's one in Shinjuku that's really thin, that's about five stories. Uh, you know, the, that's a. Uh, it's funny because that's actually very similar to the Taipei one, where it's also really thin, but it has like five stories. You know, and the top four are all eating. But anyway, let's wrap it up. I never found out what Gouda Chai is. Are, are you are you frozen, Konaru? Yeah, she's frozen. I can't tell if we lost the podcast or not. If we did, oh, uh-huh. there you go. There you go. I, I thought we I'm like we didn't lose the podcast we're definitely still streaming Hello? oh wait there hey. you go yeah you're back I my internet dipped okay it was yours I'm like it can't be mine because the the stream would have died no, it's still going it was mine my internet dipped oh god um sorry I'm, I'm kind of reading a bit of the death to Hong Kong thing um death of Hong Kong um I don't know. There's a whole, there's a whole, whole topic there that I want to get into, but it's definitely off topic, and it's too political for this lighthearted podcast. So I won't. We'll talk about the drink talk learn this weekend. Um, let's wrap it up. So, do we have any other Oda Tamita nonsense? Oh, I never updated the this thing, but it's still Oda Tamita. Oda Tamita wrap up. Kunaru, have you graduated mm-hmm. or not? Because I, I feel like I'm fucking no. Yeah, because you, you definitely said you were... You said twice, by the way. Two different I'm times. I'm done. Like, I'm just done. But That's you still it. stream. Ta-da. Oh, yeah. Well, I stream, but I don't, like, do idle you stuff. You don't move. Anymore. You just, like, talk. <laughs> yeah, I just talk. Well, I do do dancing. Like, I want I want to do covers again. Like, just be an orderite again. Like, how I used to be. But, yeah. I, I, I'll, probably get, I'll probably get into that because, like... Um, where I'm at right now, they have a lot, like, the apartment complex has, like, so many golden locations, like, they're so good over here. And then, of course, I have, like, the mountains and everything, I can go into, like, nature and record shit, so I, I do want to take advantage and, like, film maybe, like, one or two covers. Like, I want to get, I just want to get back into doing covers again, <laughs> I miss doing that, but, yeah. There was um there was a fanime which I think it was the first one you didn't go to so I'm glad we never actually submitted it actually we did submit it just didn't get accepted um which glad thing it didn't get accepted because you didn't go that year um but there was a fanime like not this past no well this past one didn't happen but not 2019 it must have been 2018 then because 2017 was the year you went right but um mm-hmm. but 2018 the the first year you didn't go I'm sure because it was because of Japan actually I think that one because you you had went to Japan before yeah. <laughs> you didn't have money because I think last year you were in Japan during it but the year before I think you just you were home but you didn't have money for it anyway no the year before I was saving money so I yeah. could go to um, I think it was 5th Live like I had to give up Fanime to go to 5th Live for Aqua um so it was Fanime but anyway uh it, it's funny because that one we actually were planning to do all to meet the panel together uh and I don't know if I'll ever do that panel ever again, but definitely the, the Jaiwu ones come into a con near you. Like I said, definitely there's like a there's like a negative one zero version of it that already exists because of the drink talk learn. Um, add more stuff, fix that one up, so everyone go check that out. But on that note, let's wrap it up and start talking. What's new with Konara? What are you doing after this? You you have next week. Um, week. sleeping. It's Fourth of Even July weekend. You're, 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 you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna I don't celebrate Fourth of July. <laughs> no, it's funny because uh, for those who don't know, 
Um, I didn't even realize it was Fourth of July weekend when I kept playing the Drink Talk Learns. But I don't know where Callie's like, it's Fourth of July weekend, I can't do it. And I'm like, that's such an American thing to say. That's such a, I don't, I don't want to be racist. That's such a white thing to say, I mean to say. I mean, like, let's be real here. Uh, first of all, it's a pandemic. So what are you going to do anyway? You can't really go out to a big fireworks event. You're probably going to just have barbecue with your family. And, like, that's such a white thing to say. Sorry. But anyway. Um, but then Matt couldn't do it because he has it's his father's birthday, which make, which is also which is understandable. But um, so fun fact: if you tune in this weekend, it'll be the first Cali list uh, drink talk learn like ever, even though it was like her idea initially. So it'll be fun to do it without her. Um, like I said, so far for sure, Ren's gonna be on there. Warren's gonna be on there. Myself's gonna be on there. And I know that's just three, but there's a lot of like. <laughs> The way this, these usually go down behind the scenes is that we don't confirm everyone until like almost Friday, but it, expect Molly, Pleiades, and a few other people. So just just tune in. But it'll be mm-hmm. Ren and Warren, so uh, it's worth the pun just just for that. <laughs> oh God, uh, but yeah, tune in, and then you can, you can see you, you can see all of us drunk again. Anyway, we're doing the streams. Konara needs to start drinking some alcohol and dying so she can join Three Talk Learns. Uh, anyway, I can't. I, I still can't believe I overslept tonight. That, that just blows my mind that I slept through the podcast. I'd never done that before. Well, we recovered and we fixed it. I, uh, we had a couple viewers, even though I think we lost. I think a lot of people just assumed we canceled, and like we didn't see like our usual show up, like you know, like we always do. So I'm a little upset by that, but it is what it is. Watch us on YouTube. This will definitely be. Hopefully, this doesn't get claimed. Hopefully, this doesn't get like blocked. I don't think. I was careful to choose songs, and I'm pretty. I kind of vetted the. Konaro didn't didn't uh, give me anything that was crazy, and I told her what not to give me. And none of the songs seemed like they would get us blocked. So let's uh, fingers crossed on that. I, I don't care if they want to demonetize us. I just don't get blocked. Mm-hmm. If uh, if anyone out there does dance covers, throw your videos in the comments or throw some links in there. I'll check them out. Well, I'll check them out. Please. And. Um, I honestly love all this Mita. It's like I said, like I, I've definitely become a fan, and it's funny because like I used to talk shit about it. So it's kind of like th- this is kind of like the other manual journey. Like the last like, last week, talked about becoming a furry. Um, next week, I don't know what we're going to talk about. We'll definitely have a host. I don't care who I have to pull in. Um, by the way, have you noticed Jasmine's doing all of her idol shit? Because like Jasmine went from our our extra our extra host, who's always on everything before Callie was was around to like um she's like doing the miss id thing this year and i'm like what the fuck yeah. what give me her shit yeah she's on cheers and I everything i haven't been I haven't been on facebook or anything so. but that's the thing like she she, she has this shit in the a to j chat even though she's always checking it um i should reply if i tag her in it so she's active but like she's not telling us like I don't know why she's keeping it hidden. But yeah, she's a uh, Miss ID and she's like, uh, well, she's in Miss ID and she's doing some other idly things. She likes to join that the the whack thing, you know the. Um... Oh, whack! I think I follow her on the whack thing at least. But yeah, I'm like, what I the follow fuck? Everyone. But yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? I just like, I, I, mind you, like I've been seeing it in the periphery, but I haven't really been following it too actively, like all of it, like the whack and the Miss ID thing. But it's just funny. I'm like, so this is what she's doing besides the like not doing the podcast. Um, but I, I kind of want her on just because she hasn't been on like in a while, and it'd be fun to talk about all of her new activities. Um, yeah, I like to get her on just like talk about like you know idol shit in Japan. So what do you, what do you or know? At least overseas. Yeah, what do you know? We might. Uh, hopefully, we can get her, we can get Jasmine on like scheduled and not just like Jasmine be on the podcast like in thirty minutes, you know, kind of thing. Um, oh my god! But yeah. Um, tune in for that. Uh, hopefully, it, either way, it's happening on Tuesday at six, and it'll be at six. I won't oversleep this time. I swear. Um, yeah, you will. Yeah, this is the normal thing. No, it's funny because like this is always in my big fear whenever I nap. Um, but like I said, I didn't mean to nap. I went to lay down, which is why I set no alarms. Ugh. Anyway, 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 anyway. A to J upcoming stuff. Nothing too big. We we have our normal content coming. Drink talk learn on Saturday podcast on Tuesdays. Conaro streams sometimes. Um, it hasn't been approved yet, but we do have Illuminati hot chip uh, emotes. Coming soon is uh, is Wee Blizzard person. Um, and then uh, I haven't decided what the third one... chips and lies. Yes. Then I haven't decided what the third one's gonna be, and then we're gonna go from there. The third one should be something idly. It should be like, you know, I can't think of... But something like funny. Should like, be Tiffany. Should be Tiffany. 
It's it actually Tiffany. It should be Tiffany. I'll, I'll just, I'll just like, hey, somebody get somebody cheapy Tiffany, draw her, and there you go. That's a, it's our fucking last emo, and then that'll be the tier. It's like you're first, you're hot, you're Illuminati hot chip, then you're a lizard person, and then you're Tiffany. And then you're kind of <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> yeah. Tiffany. All roads lead to Tiffany. <laughs> exactly. Oh God. But yeah. Anyway, that's that. Oh, wait. What, what, Oh my god. What? <laughs> I'm not joking. I almost feel like Ren was watching the podcast. She literally just messaged me right now that she could do any day but Saturday, but apparently she has to pet sit that day. So, follow us on social media. We're probably changing the day. That's all I got to say. And we'll, we'll come back to that. <laughs> We're probably going to change the day because I, I don't want to skip this weekend. Mainly because it is AX weekend and my body's used to drinking anyway, so... um and I technically already have plans for next week. Not like plans we're not going to do it, but I already have plans about who's going to be on next weekend. And um, I'd rather not push that back so um, or, or switch around too much. So we're probably going to just change the day. So we're probably going to be on Friday. I'm just letting you know that right now. But um, everyone tune back in on Friday more than likely. 6 p.m. Keep an eye out for it. Hopefully. Which is fine for the best because I'm pretty sure like on Saturday night there would have been fireworks everywhere. And it would have been really loud. Because I don't really live in a place where uh, you would hear it. I mean, you would definitely hear it outside. I think even my mic would probably pick it's it up. It's gonna be pretty interesting for me to experience Fourth of July here because I don't even know what that, what laws are here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the people are just like shooting off like the crazy intense fireworks like in a oh, neighborhood. Oh shit! <laughs> where's your where, where, well, where's, I, your where's your neighbor's cat that just invades your apartment? Oh, he was actually here. Like, well, she was here. Um. Before the podcast started, and it was like, funny because like she left. Um, my roommate. Okay, was can I actually, I have a funny story about this cat. Go ahead. So last night, last night we were getting ready for bed and everything, and my boyfriend was making like a little protein shake uh, before he went to bed. Um, next thing he knows, he's here. He hears like a meow and a little scratch at the door, and and he thought he was going crazy. <laughs> And he opened the door to see him, like what what the heck it was, and it was the neighbor's cat in the hallway of the apartment. He just like zoomed into our our <laughs> our uh thing, our, our our house, and he's just like getting comfy. I'm like, and then I hear like it's a little bell jingle. I was in the other room. Here's a little bell jingle. I'm like, am I going crazy? And I get up and I see him, and we're just like, oh god, what do we do? Should we let him out into like the courtyard? But it's night and there's coyotes everywhere. He can't fend for himself. He's just a stupid house cat. <laughs> so we decided to just like we just we just fed him like one more little can of food and we picked him up and we just took him back to our neighbor at like eleven o'clock at night. It was oh ridiculous. My God. That cat. What was with that cat? I don't know. Like this I think I think the I think our neighbor's like pretty aloof, like personality wise. Like yeah. 'cause even when we when we brought the cat back, we put him down, like put put him back in like the their apartment. She was like, Oh, I'm so sorry about that and he just like scoots back out like he leaves the apartment <laughs> again to try to escape. And then like it took it took her like five, six seconds to realize that he left again and I was just like I was like, girl, uh <laughs> like she got out again and she's like oh shit I'm so sorry <laughs> that was funny because uh, my roommate was watching the furry podcast over the weekend and they're like why is there a cat and I'm like that's not her cat and she's like what do you mean it's not her cat why is it being so friendly because <laughs> on the video like it's funny when you watch it back the cat is just like in heaven when you're like holding the cat the cat just like eh. <laughs> just letting you pet her and everything like that I'm like what the fuck Cat is so baby, I swear. But yeah. Anyway, there's a cat in Tanara's place that's trying okay. to live with her. Anyways, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's that. it. Um, if you want to support us, patreon.com straight to J Connections, and you can uh, support us there monetarily. If you can't, like, comment, subscribe, both here on Twitch and on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, keep watching on YouTube, of course, because uh, it helps us out there. But if you want everyone to see us live, like I said, Tuesdays and Saturdays, we might change this Saturday, but Tuesdays and Saturdays, 6 p.m. Uh, twitch.tv slash adg plays um either way like com like comment subscribe especially comment about your favorite order to meet the stuff comment more stuff I, you know i love comments and um on that note i guess that's it shout out to edit kenneth the current patrons and thank you all for watching thank you in the chat whoever suggested what to show us i still don't know if that was a joke or not 
And uh, either way, he wasn't around when I went to go look it up and he didn't elaborate. But um, yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you all for watching. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Be kind to each other. And uh, be, yeah, just, 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 just take care of yourselves. Be good people. Good night. Good luck. Good night. Happy 4th of July if you celebrate happy... No, we don't celebrate 4th oh, yeah. of July on this podcast. Uh, America's in timeout because it's being, it's, being, it's being stupid. No, it's not timeout. America's just canceled. America's it's canceled. Actually the one. Yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. Like, I'll just say this real fast. <laughs> Like I, I was watching, like I hardly ever watch like you know the, the those press conferences, like the actual like White House ones. But I was watching one a couple days ago. Like it was actually yesterday. It was yesterday. I watch all of them actually, just because okay. I like to stay informed on like the stupid no, shit exactly. that they say. No, exactly. <laughs> no, okay, let me rephrase that. I, I've seen the clips, but I've never watched a full one unedited ever. And I watched one yesterday unedited, and like the White House press secretary actually talked about how cancel culture is like ruining America and I'm like somebody connected to the White House is complaining about cancel culture what timeline do we live in should they be like trying to cancel the coronavirus exactly or something? exactly and they're, they're worried about getting canceled themselves and I was just like it just blew my mind to hear somebody like literally like uh, attached to the highest office in the US talking about cancel culture and it just i couldn't i felt like i was watching youtube i felt like i was okay. watching drama alert we we <laughs> like yeah we're done. We're, done. Drama alert. we're done we're done this, this is honestly i'm done but yeah that's it uh don't leave for the thumbnail but yeah good night bye, bye. take care of yourselves